people of the world, I bring you Pokemon Platinum! Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is RageFun, and welcome back to another l episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, as I literally just stated probably 10 seconds ago. Anyways, in the last episode, we basically just did a bunch of boss battles, and by a bunch, I mean literally two between Cyrus and Saturn, as well as freeing Uxie, Mesmer, and Nazelf, the three mythical spirits of the lakes. And this episode, I want to say to myself, why did I come all the way over here? Thinking that there was an escape route, because seriously, we're supposed to go over here, and obviously Manny and Lynx are still poisoned because I just we're just continuing from when I last saved. So going through that green portal will take us over here because this is actually a one-way portal. I think this says it here. The Team Galactic Credo, everything locked to Team Galactic. Look beyond the world, space will become Team Galactics. Okay, that doesn't say anything about this portal at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal real quick. So I'll meet you guys when I'm done healing my Pokemon. Okay, now that we're done with all that, something I would like to do before we leave for Veilstone City. Thank you so much to the person who commented about an item being here that we could not get previously, because over here, you may notice that there are actually some rocks you can climb now that we have rock climb. So thank you to 1234481 for actually pointing this out to me. So, right here we actually have a full essence, which actually... This is something, this is actually one of those items that really has a completely negative feel, or a negative um, bonus, or stat, or buff, whatever, towards your Pokemon, because look at what it says right here. If we go to items, and we go all the way down, it literally tells us that it is a an exotic smelling incense that makes the holder bloated and slow moving. So basically, you're just making your Pokemon slower. Which, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I think I, I can think of one simple strategy. But other than that, I don't really know why you'd want that. So obviously this is going to go in the selling apartment of my brain. So with that, uh, there's not much else to do anymore around here in Veilstone. So now I might as well introduce you again to the map of the Sinnoh region. So, if you remember, we actually have to go back to Mount Coronet because there's something going on in Mount Coronet that Team Galactic is up to. So... Remember how we went to Eternity City, and we ba we briefly were in Mount Coronet, and then we got all the way over here to Snowpoint City? Well, now we're going to be taking the route to Mount Coronet from Orbrick City slash Hardhome City, all the way over here, so we can ascend the Peak of the Mountain, which is literally directly in the middle right here. So, we're going to head over to Orbrick City, and hopefully we can hear the awesome music again, and I'm not positive about hearing it in perfect speed, but it's still awesome music. Eh, it's close enough. So let's go ahead and run over there because... Actually, no, because we need our bike for this. Because there's actually a slope here, if you remember, that we cannot go into before. Because we did not have it. Now, uh, I actually played this a little bit before I recorded. And I remember, I'd always run into that guy. But this time, nope. Because there are still a lot of trainers that I haven't fought that are literally really weak. But, over here in the next portion of Mount Coronet... First, let me go ahead and set up some Max Repels. Because, trust me... You want max repels. They save your life in this cave. Because trust me, you're going to be going through a lot of grass, and a lot of water, and a lot of space. So, um, I'm saying so a lot. I really need to stop saying that. And pff, there's an energy powder right here in this rock. I literally just went up the rock and pressed A and hoping there was an item. So, uh, actually, there's another thing I should mention. I actually do know a few locations for rocks and such here. Because I do have a little bit more of a clear memory towards this game now. Because... I always remember things leading up to the climax, such as, obviously, the Galactic HQ and what happens afterwards, so, pretty neat about that. But I will not be getting every single item here there is in Mount Coronet, mainly because there are just too many items for me to get. So, uh, before, I really do need to stop saying stuff. Because over here, we can actually use Surf now, since o over here we cannot previously access this spot. It was a little bit of foreshadowing to understand what we're going to do next for the rock climbing. So right here, I think we have something which is a protein, so physical attack is always nice to buff up, so always good to have that. So let's go ahead and use Rock Lime on these, and I there isn't an item in that rock. It looks like there should be an item in there, but there's not. Trust me, I checked. Okay, so now, in, is this the part which I'm thinking of? I believe it is. Yes, this is the part. Because in this part, there's actually something really interesting. Which I'll get into in a minute. I don't think there's an item in that rock. Oh, something else I should mention. Over here, we actually have something a little bit different. 
uh, we're going to be needing the dowsing machine quite a bit because if you want to get uh, most of the items here in Mount Cornet, you're going to want to use this. Anyway, something happened to me in my uh, practice file, which just happened right now. Wow. Anyways, oh. Guess who? Introducing Riolu, the pre-evolution of Lucario. This is awesome. Because for all of you who pretty much watched my older videos and pretty much just know me in general, you would know Lucario is in my top five list of my favorite Pokemon. So, for the sake of Pokemon Hunter, which is an awesome Flash animation, which you guys should really watch, I'm going to be nicknaming this Lucario, mainly because I can. Because can. So let's just name it Lucario, and there we go. Now, here's my strategy. It's level 1, as with all eggs, but trust me, this is going to change very, very quickly. 9 XP to a level, we can seriously easily get it. And it already knows 3 moves. I think it was like uh, Foresight, Endure, and Quick Attack. Yeah, so it's stats. Really balanced. Really balanced. So, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be going ahead and giving my XP share over to Rucario here, mainly because, well, he needs to get some levels because we don't want to have like a level... I don't know, 20 Pokemon with all these level 40 Pokemon. So that'd be pretty good to have. And another thing I want to do real quick, this is a bunch of boring item sorting and all, but I just have to. Uh, that soft sand we got a while back over in Mount Coronet, ironically. We can give that to Torterra now because, well, he has one Earthquake move, and that could actually really help us. So in here, I think there's an item back here. Yes, there is. Okay. So what do you have? An escape rope. Always nice to have an escape rope, definitely. So let's see if there are any items around here we can get. None? You sure? I'm positive there's probably one of these rocks somewhere. Come on, game. Don't do this. No, whatever. I, I know for a fact there's an item in one of these rocks, but I can't seem, I can't seem to remember. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go out here real quick because... Oh my god, the light! It burns! But also, what's more important is there are actually two items here. This one, I believe, is a timer ball of memory serves. I'm going to be really nerdy. Oh, look at that. I'm such a nerd. Yes, a timer ball. I don't think we've seen those yet. If we have, well, then whatever. I'm going to explain it again. Timer balls are basically Pokeballs that will increase uh, the percent catch rate the longer you are in battle with a Pokemon. And in this, I believe it's uh, an iron. Okay. So physical defense always, not, always works. So let's go ahead and use Rock Climb back up here again. And let's go ahead and investigate the rest of the cave, because there's actually something a little bit interesting that we can get into here. If I can get in, thank you. Okay, so, I think the rock which I'm thinking of is somewhere, I think I already passed it. And our max appell were off, but that doesn't matter, because we literally have 30 more! Hooray! Okay, so maybe it's one of these rocks. I'm, I'm losing my mind. It can't be this rock. Okay, good. But I think right here is a TM-80 rock slide, I'm not... Oh my god, I'm nerdier than I always thought I would be. Then again, I always think that I'm a big nerd, but... Then again, there's nerd pride, and that's something to be com accomplished about, right? Right? Eh. Okay, so... Over here, there's another item. Items for days, as Noah would say. And, oh my god, I know there's an item... Oh, Max Revive! Like I said, one of only the... F one of only few... I think, like, maybe less than 10, obviously, of those Max Revives that we've seen, and I almost went off the cliff right there. Oh, God. Okay, then I definitely passed it, but guess what? One, two, do oh, looker. Observe, if you will, that hole. There was once a cave painting that had blocked the way to the summit, but the wall, it is no longer there. It lies in pieces, do you see? Ever since the three Pokemon at the lakes have been captured, something terrible is happening. But what exactly, I do not know. There is but one cause! Team Galactic Cyrus! And now, we are all caught up, now, to the next step. Are you trained enough to advance? Show me if you will! Ha ha ha! You can relax now. You see, I understand. You are far superior to me. As are the commanders, Cyrus too, naturally. Team Galactic is beyond my reach. Please, you must stop them, for only you are able. For only you are able. All I can do now is give you this. It's little something could have taken an investigation long ago. And with that we get the Black Flute, which is basically some kind of repel, which is in, which was returned from Ruby Sapphire Emerald. 
please, you must stop Team Galactic. Will do. Now, about this little thing right here. As you can see, there's obviously wooden spots on the floor here that have been broken off. Something really cool about this is that if you come here before you go over to, I think, what it be, Lake Acuity, you can actually see this on the wall still, just completely um, sealed off. And then Looker would come to you being like, oh, I wonder what, why it's blocked off. Or, I wonder why it's blocked off. So really, really cool that they done that, that they did that. And is there an item? Okay, Dowdy Machine, help me. Okay, fine, you can just be not useful. So you really want to go up here because, look at that. A little bit of spoilers, but whatever. I mean, as it wasn't obvious enough that Team Galactic's causing some trouble around here. Speaking of something around here, can there be any items? Oh yes, there is. This one definitely has an item, as it wasn't obvious enough. And here we get a star piece, once again. If I do not remember if we've covered this or not, I will just explain it again. Star pieces can usually be sold for money. I believe it's either 1500 or 4800 So, both of these battles are actually not required. We can literally just skip right through them. Especially this guy. This guy's really easy to pass. It's because he only looks both ways, so when he literally looks the other Oh my god! No, 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 no! Oh, I almost... God, I just barely made it. Okay. So once he looks the other way, we're good to go. So let's just go behind this rock. And, of course, Team Galactic runs their NPCs being stupid as usual. But welcome back to the snow, guys. Now this song, I'm just going to take a minute to show you how mesmerizing these snowy songs can be. It's crazy, I know. I really do like like these songs, because for all of you who know me a little bit more personally, you would understand that I am actually a really big fan of like orchestral and classical and all those things that really don't involve much electronics or anything like that. So you guys would pretty much know that for all of you who, once I, like I said, know me personally. So what do we have here? There's an, oh, there's something that requires strength, so that obviously means hit an item. Now, I know there's an item that patch of grass to the right of me if I was looking at a perspective of the protagonist. Oh, that obviously means this way, so I might as well just say left, but, eh. Okay, so clearly, right here, it's a rock covered by a breakable rock. Hmm. I wonder what could be in here. <gasps> it's an item, and it's a blue shard, which doesn't really give us that much, but whatever, it's still a thing. So, now, I'm just going to predict which spot it is in. If I literally get this right, and if it's what I... I believe it's a Revival Herb right here. Right here. Right here. Here. Okay, give up trying to be looking cool and acting uncool. Is it? <laughs> it's right there! I was close enough. At least I can show some nerd pride for that. And I'm really putting myself down. I'm not saying that in like a bad way to myself. So let's go ahead and use Rock Climb over here. And I think we're going to be getting some required battles here. Or just... The Team Galactic run looking all stupid, looking at the wall like pretty much everything else. So, is there any items over here? Let's see if we can use the Dowdy Machine to find out. Yes! One, two, three. A full... Wow, that's actually really well hidden. Okay, so, let's see if I... Let's see if there's another item around here. Uh, none. Okay, so let's see if we can skip this guy. I believe we can. Actually, yes we can! Awesome! And we just made it. So there better be an item in here. No? course game. So there's nothing there either, so let's go ahead and move up. Unless they're fooling me. I knew it! Okay, then I had a really big feeling that there was going to be something there. So what do we have? Come on, show me. Show me. Show me. An Ultra Ball. Okay, I'll take that. I will gladly take that. So, let's go ahead and go outside. But I am going to have to end off the episode here. So, anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you all for watching. Uh, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, we're going to be scaling further through Mount Coronet, and hopefully we'll reach the summit. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.